Welcome to episode 37 of Champster Champions. <sighs> I'm still alive, I'm still here. You may have been worried after the last couple of episodes. It has been not good. It has not been good, has it? I've been moaning away, probably boring the pants off you with my moaning and groaning and everything. So I am sorry for all of that. But I'm going to try and be more positive henceforth, which is actually a bit easier considering my recent results, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to show you this tactic because nothing has been working for me. I think you can agree with that. Whether it be defensive errors that has messed me up or perhaps my actual tactics or formations or conceding goals from set pieces, I've not really had any luck, but perhaps I haven't done myself any favours. So I've basically, with this tactic, I've tried to put together all of your ideas that you've given me that helpfully in comments section over the past few videos and merged them into one tactic with this rather strange looking thing. Um, <laughs> it's an asymmetric tactic, as you can see there. I, I used to be the king of asymmetric tactics on FM11. None of my tactics looked like they would make any sense at all, but they seem to work. So I've gone back to my old ways. So we'll start from the back. We've got Love Locking Goal as usual. Now we've got a sweeper because people, uh, someone said that I didn't really give sweepers a chance. That tactic that I had Last season or season before, I, I put a sweeper in at one point and I didn't really give it a good enough go. I think I played a die in the, in the sweeper, didn't I? An Alex a die. What's ever happened to him? Let's have a look. Let's look for a die. Ah. He's down on the south coast playing for Bognor Regis now at the age of 24. He's played for Concord Rangers, so did stay in Essex for a little while, but now has gone to Bognor Regis. Interesting move for him. So yeah, I decided to go with a sweeper at the back just to clear up any errors that my defenders always make because my centre-backs always miss the ball, don't they, in the air or cock up. So my thinking is a sweeper will just clear that up. The two centre-backs, pretty much the same. We've got a limited defender, a normal defender. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it will with that sweeper behind. Now people are saying, someone said I conceded far too many goals from crosses. Yes, I do. Uh, maybe that's down to my fullbacks. So I've decided to go with limited fullbacks. And my overall tactic now has closed down less, meaning they shouldn't push forwards and close down, leaving them exposed, behind, exposed spaces behind them, enabling players to get crosses in. Hopefully, with the limited fullbacks, they'll stay back, they won't close down so much, and they will just hold their position and hopefully not allow as many crosses into that box. Someone else said, or maybe the same person, there's been a few of you saying similar things, so thank you very much, everyone that has commented. It does mean a lot that you guys are still invested in this series, despite the fact that I've been moaning away. Sorry. So defensive midfielder, basically because I've had too much of a gap between central midfield and the defence. Maybe I don't need a defensive midfielder and a sweeper. That looks a bit odd with that sort of effectively back six, but I'll show you in a minute. It has actually been working. But I still need a normal central midfield, otherwise there's no one in the middle of the park really to compete with opposition midfielders. I don't have a very good left winger. I don't have a left winger at all really, which is why there's no left winger in this formation. I've got a good right winger though in JB, haven't I? He's a good player on that right hand side who I signed from Portsmouth. He's done well for me. So I've gone with him as an attacking winger to get down that right hand side and you'll see I'm exposing the right flank with him, hopefully getting some decent crosses into the box with Bird as a poacher trying to get on the end of things. May experiment around with his role because he hasn't quite done it for me since the, the new formation. He's still on 14 goals. He was on 13 and 19 at one point, so he hasn't really done it recently. Pigton is just behind him as a shadow striker. So he's not. I've not gone for two up front because I don't want to leave this area exposed. I've got a shadow striker, so he's basically supporting Bird as the second striker but at the same time we'll be helping out the midfield, dropping back and hopefully adding numbers to the midfield. So that's the tactic. It's a standard structure. You've seen the instructions. It's called, what did I call it? The cheetah, the cheetah sweeper weird. Because I did have a sweeper, I was a couple of games ago, I'll show you the, the form, uh, recent results. Since that FA Cup loss against Accrington Stanley, we have only lost one game since then. So I alternated to a sweeper. It did. It was similar to what, to, to what I just showed you, but not quite as asymmetric. I think I had I had the two wingers, but on either, as wide midfielders, and I think Kissick was there with one striker, so it wasn't very 
attacking at all. And it enabled us to get draws against Macclesfield, 1-0 and 2-0 against Alfreton and then unfortunately we lost 2-1 against Aldershot so I changed it up again after that because we conceded a last minute penalty so once again not really luck going our ways but I've changed it and it's worked wonders because we won four games in a row only scraping over the line each time we beat AFC Fouled 1-0 with a Ryan Bird goal we beat Dagenham and Redbridge 2-1 Pigden and Ross Jenkins with a penalty to win that game coming from behind against Dagenham and Redbridge and then we beat Wildstone in the FA Trophy South first round, scraping through an extra time. Goal, a lucky goal from Jack Holland. And then a 1 0 win against Boreham Wood. David Popper, the only second goal of the season coming off the bench to defeat Boreham Wood. So I'm really happy with that. We've only scraped over the line, so I don't really know how well the tactic is actually working. Perhaps we've got lucky in those four games, but the luck has turned in our favour. That's the thing. We're not conceding as many stupid goals. This is when we go and concede about 10 stupid goals today, isn't it? Doing two matches for you, it's going to be quite a long episode. I've been rambling for six minutes already. But the first game will be against Barrow, who are currently three points above us. We're only three points off the playoffs. It's incredibly close. Fifth place on 40 points, down to 18th on 30 points. There's only 10 points in that. That is stupidly close. You can see that it's, it's really, it is just ridiculously close, close um, this season. Anyway, we're going to play Barrow. Let's see what we can do. Actually, I'm just going to show you the match preview, I think, if we get to it. There we go. You can just see a few statistics there. Let's get on with this match then. In other news, the chairman's thinking about selling the club. So I really hope he sells it to someone with a bit of money. Because that would be much appreciated my end. <laughs> but uh, it might not. It might go to someone who's just as poor. Time will tell. As I always say. Okay, let's... What should we say? We could move into playoff spot with a win here. Skirt there impress me. It's a bit too aggressive. Good luck, lads. A nice good luck. You can't beat it, can you? Let's give some encouragement to the defence. Now, I warn you, there may not be many highlights because this tactic seems to have just reduced the number of clear-cut chances and highlights. Both ends, really. So we do rely on taking the odd chance, half chance... And I'm going to give some encouragement to Ryan Bird because he hasn't done a huge amount lately. So let's do that. He is a bit exposed, I guess, even with the shadow striker behind him. He's not used to playing with that. But we have a chance here. Corner, early on. Knocked away. Francis, the sweeper. Oh, Bird, he scores. Just as I was saying, he was listening to me. Well done, Ryan Bird. 15th goal of the season. We've taken an early lead from a set piece. We need to take our chances. Now, because I've... Uh, Changed the positions. My the corner tactics are slightly different. So Francis is going short, even though he's the sweeper, which is a bit odd. We may need to sort that out actually, but I mean maybe not. That did work. Oh, we get lucky there. Lovelock's just about kept it out. Made a meal of it, but kept it out. I said there'd be no highlights, and suddenly in like five minutes, there's two exciting highlights there. Cheltenham. I've just noticed they've gone top above York. York were way out well not way out in the lead but they were they were top from the start and Cheltenham have caught them and overtaken them so it'll be interesting to see who can win this this league one thing one thing is for certain not us unless this tactic really does turn into some sort of dream thing uh, Mackay is a bit tired isn't he and he's on a yellow maybe I should bring Mackassie on Mackassie did well in the last game I think he was my best player actually. He's not really done much for me since coming to Chelmsford from West Ham. But maybe he can take his chance now. Let's see. Here goes JB. Kissick. Oh, he's gone for it. It's quite well over, I think, in the end. But he, I like the effort. Ah, oh, thank you, Haynes, for knocking that behind. Lovelock, once again, making a bit of a meal of it. He's not the best keeper in the world, but I like him. He, he makes some good saves. He's not always got a pe safe pair of hands on it. it really does depend on the day for him <laughs> but I like him he's been at the club since I've been at the club before I've been at the club so yeah okay let's take Pigton off he's not really done much today I'm going to put Popper on but play Bird behind Popper because Popper can't really play in the shadow striker but Bird can he's uh, slightly more versatile 1-0. Oh, 
I'm actually going to make a change. We're going to turn off higher tempo. We don't need it on higher tempo now. Can we hold out to win our fifth game in a row? It would be incredible if we could. One more sub to make. I don't think I need to make it. I've got Iwoli, my young winger, or Tyler Reed to come on. And I don't think they really fit in. They're, they're, yeah, they don't need to come on. Holland's tired, but he's going to stay on for the last three minutes. Can we hold out for 15 seconds? Come on, guys. This is incredible how consistent we've been lately. That was a strange clearance from Barrow. We've won the game. Fifth win in a row. I don't think I've ever done that with Chelmsford. Jack Holland, man of the match. He's really developed this season into a very good centre-back, I must say. He's uh, definitely my best centre-back, according to my assistant. Really, really good this season. I've enjoyed watching him defend. Makes the odd mistake, scores the odd own goal, but overall he's been good. So my next match is actually in two days' time against Lincoln, because it's the New Year period. Five wins in a row. Unheard of. It's so different from the last episode. Last episode, you thought I was going to die. But I'm back, and we're three points off the playoffs. We have a game in hand, may I add. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable. Wow. Bit of world news for you guys. Ronaldo has won World Golden Ball for the fifth season in a row, beating Messi once again. Unusual, because in FM14... Messi won it all the time, and in this save, Ronaldo's won it all the time. Very interesting. Has he won World Player? Yeah, he did win World Player of the Year as well for the, the fifth time. Tevez was third. Was he third? How was Tevez third? He's ancient now. Oh, I'm confused. Suarez was third this time. Tevez was... Oh, I'm getting confused between the two awards, aren't I? World Player of the Year. Yeah, Tevez was 30. He's 33 on this. I thought he was older, actually. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be 34 soon. Do, do, do. So I, I just can't believe how well this tactic is working. Considering I haven't tested it at all. I've just literally thrown it together. And I've struck gold for the last five games. Whether it will last or not, we'll see. Happy New Year, guys. I forgot to say, it's the 1st of January 2018. Happy New Year. Where will you be in 2018? January 2018. So I've got the option of changing my season expectations. Now, I, my expectations to avoid relegation. And to get an extra £500 a week to spend on wages, I could choose top half finish. But I don't want to do that because... When you oversubscribe, when you say, I'm going to do this, then they'll just be unhappy when I don't get it. Only for £500 extra a week. There's no point. Mid-table finish, we should manage that. I'm going to go for that, just for a little bit extra money, and also to give them a bit more confidence that I'm doing a better job. So let's go for that. So I, I think I'll show you my finances, just so you can see what's going on. Apparently, at the end of the season, our projected balance is to be minus 150k which isn't great, we've lost 4.353, £4,353 this month, apparently. But I, I don't know how well these things are projected, because apparently that's going to be, we're going to be a minus 425k at the rate we're going in 2020. I don't think that will happen. We'll improve the financial situation. It's match day. It's going to be a cold one. It's the 1st of January. And what's it like? Four Celsius breezy. How are my players coping? They're all a little bit tired after the game two days ago, but they're not as bad as I thought they would be. I probably will stick with the same team, if I'm honest. Makassi's tired, the most tired, and he only played the last half an hour. Was it the last half in the end? I think he came on at half-time. I've completely forgotten what happened. I think I'll put um, Capitani on the bench for Ayawoli. Capitani's back in the team. He had a good first half of the season. He's done okay. He scored a few goals. Four goals. Didn't really play at front very much though, did he? You may have noticed Mambo number five, our old friend, isn't playing at the moment. He's a bit unhappy, unhappy about it. And probably won't want a new contract with me because I'm not playing him. Whether I want to sign him up again, maybe for old time's sake. 
But he does make too many mistakes. He's the defender that's played the least games this season out of anyone. So, yeah, these players are playing well at the moment, so I'm sticking with them. Let's go and play this match then. Let's try and beat Lincoln away from home and get a sixth win in a row. That would be amazing. Unlikely to go move up to fifth like they say because we're not going to win by enough goals. I, I very much doubt it. But we are back in the hunt. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. It always gives me false hope, doesn't it? So, I'm doing, what am I doing here? Let's mark the strikers. They're playing in a very good hipster formation with the, the, the attacking wing backs there. Complete full backs, maybe they're playing. Who knows? Extremely delighted, Pigden. What on earth have you had for breakfast? Okay, let's start this match. We're in the white today. Come on, JB, get down the wing. I'm in my pyjamas. I like pyjamas. Pyjamas are just fantastic clothes. Ah, get rid of it. Well done, Makai. We've been better at getting to the first balls since changing the tactic for some reason. This is when it goes wrong. Ah, oh, they've scored from a direct free kick. Zibastards. Well, I'm going to go attacking, I think, because we haven't done anything. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what we can do from this. Win it! Oh, no. A Lincoln going to expose me. They're in the relegation zone at the moment, and they're exposing my tactic. This is not what I want to see. I'm going to go a bit more attacking, guys, because it worked in the last game. So let's push forwards. Come on! Oh no, a long throw. Now we do concede from set pieces still. That's the one problem. Or penalties. Get rid of it! Well done, Lovelock. We're in the right place there. On the right-hand side of the goal, we knew where the ball was going. But we've done nothing in this game. They've had 20 shots. What the hell is happening? We've had one. How is that possible? Come on, Bird. Run forwards. Flying down the pitch. Pigton. Mackay. Kissick. I like the name Kissick. Kissick. It just sounds Kissick. I don't know. It sounds weird and interesting. Bird! Yes. Well done. JB with the assist. That's what I wanted to do. Expose the right-hand side. Get the cross in. Bird sticks it home. He scored two and two since I've been belittling him. Lovely cross from JB. And Bird couldn't really miss from there, could he? But still, he did his job. Poacher's job. And we're at 1-0. But here they go again. They, they have had more shots and that is surely offside but it's cleared brilliant it was a good save by Lovelock and good clearance I don't really know what's going on in terms of how they've had so many shots but we're still level we're level so that's the main thing we're gonna go standard we're gonna go back to standard structured birds on 70% fitness he's a bit tired and Pickling's not having the greatest game but he is my set piece specialist remember so it's good to, to keep him on because we can always get a goal from him from a good ball from him or a free kick or, or whatever here they go straight away at the start of this second half well done Mackay win it someone get hold of the ball good block but it's a corner which I just I'm nervous about corners still I've put my men on the edge of the six yard box so that worked Holland cleared win the ball back guys they've had far too much possession here for my liking. Oh, not another. It's a long throw. I hate long throws. No. No. I hate bloody long throws. He's scored again, Joe Healy. I, I think this is going to be a bit of a struggle today, guys, because we've just not been at the races. They've come out, just whipped us, and it could be our first defeat in a few games. It was a good finish. But we've got a chance here. No, we haven't. It's cleared. Oh, see, that's why my defence... They always make mistakes like that. And Francis was back as sweeper and didn't really do much there, but <laughs> maybe put them off. Francis clears. Well done. Win the ball back, please. How have they had so many shots? Oh, come on. That was, that was offside, wasn't it? It's not working for me today <laughs> at all. They've had so many chances. I... At the start of this episode, so this tactic meant there was hardly any chances, and they've had how many? Get rid of the ball. Holland. Well done, Lovelock, tipping it round. This is not working at all. I'm going to pause the game when they've had this corner. It's annoying because it has worked every single other game. Here goes Bird. Come on, red card ref. 
Time to make changes. We've had two shots all game. One of them has gone in, to be fair. I'm going to bring Pigden off. He hasn't done anything. I know he's my set-piece specialist, but changes need to be made. And... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I probably should change the tactic simply because they're not actually doing anything. But at the same time, I want to trust this tactic. Don't really know why why they're getting so much so much possession. Maybe if I turn up close down less in this case and see see if that works a bit more. Rather than letting them just have the ball. And see what happens. See if we can get back into this game in the last half an hour. Generally I'm happy though. Even if we lose this game, I'm gonna remain calm because we have improved with this tactic. It will be the first defeat for this tactic. First time we haven't won with this tactic. But at the same time, I am happy. So do not fear, guys. The series will be continuing for the time being. Like I said, it will keep going until... Well, I, if I don't get promoted to, to League 2 before August, then inevitably that will be the end because I'll be away a while. But if we go if we if we go up in the next couple of seasons, you know, then then there's still the possibility of going all the way. I'm just gonna really go for it now. In fact, I'm gonna bring Cap Capitani on for Kissick in central midfield. Definitely going for it now. And play him as an advanced playmaker. Attack. I'm going to push forwards and try and get a goal in the last 10 minutes or so. Since I've gone more attacking, there's been no highlights at all, even for them. Uh oh, long throw. I hate long throws. Hold on, get rid of it. We just haven't had any of the ball. They've had so much possession. It's really strange. This hasn't happened to me with this. They've they've sussed me out already. So annoying. Four five one. Uh, oh wow! Did he miss that? Awful miss. But we're not going to get back into this now. Fifteen seconds to go. Yeah. That wasn't good. Thirty nine shots to them. Two to me. I guess this tactic isn't going to work against everything, is it? It's worked for, against five teams in a row. We've scraped out the wins. We've been solid. We've not given too many chances away. But not against everyone because it's an unconventional asymmetric tactic that can, can go wrong against certain tactics and teams, I guess. And even though Lincoln are towards the bottom of the table, it's so tight at the bottom, you can't really regard them as a really terrible team. But that, those statistics did not look good at all, did they? Never mind. We have managed to win four league games before this. Cheltenham next note, and they're top of the table. So that's going to be really tough to beat them. We're still three points off the playoffs. We do have a game in hand, although Accrington and Woking above us have a game in hand over us. So, yeah, it might be a bit close. There might actually be only one place available for all these teams that are just behind the playoffs because it looks like York, Ebbsfleet and Torquay are moving away from the rest of the pack. So I think it's pretty much Macclesfield down to, you could arguably say Alfreton and 15th have a chance on 36 points. It's so tight. Considering there's still a number of games to go. Quite a few games to go. We're only just over halfway through the season, really. So it can all change. It can all change for us. We could go horribly wrong once again. But let's hope not. The next video will probably be around here. I'll try and play down to that point and then do the next episode. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button with this new tactic. Worked in the first game, didn't work in the second one. You win some, you lose some, as it goes. So, yep, I will see you in episode 38. Bye.